Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your spoiler alert Star Wars Bad Batch Edition. I am Mike with Mike W Productions, as you know. And to start off, I wanted to say thank you to all of my subscribers out there. If you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that little subscribe button there. If you're on your uh, TV, maybe Fire Stick or Roku or whatever, there is a way to do that. I will overlay a video on here on how to get uh, to the like and subscribe buttons there just for you guys who like to watch it on your TVs. With that being said, let's jump right into the Bad Batch. Now, in this episode, it is a continuation of last week's episode, of course. And with that, uh, we know kind of what's going on. The uh, side, the uh, counselor, basically, center, if you will, is being accused of uh, attempted assassination of this figurehead, this king, if you will, and they get arrested, and that is the end of the last episode. In today's episode, we try and rescue them, and of course, because it's a spoiler, we succeed. Um, is there pretty good storyline to this? Yes. It's, it's pretty good, I would say. Um, a lot of action, adventure. Uh, the kids actually have a little bit more to do with this episode than, um, than they did in the last episode. Uh, again, the last episode, it really wasn't a bad batch episode. It was more so a um, Star Wars episode with bad batch up parents so that was kind of disappointing but this episode we definitely get bad batchy they come in they do their thing they blow some stuff up the kids get to help and fly around quite literally and um, everything kind of just works out as it does there is uh, quite a few more episodes, and so um, I believe it's going to 15, 13 or 15, I'm, I can't remember, um, but uh, so far there really is just a Bad Batch doing Bad Batch stuff. So is that a bad thing? No. I just wish that they would have some kind of focus on what's going on. It seems like the uh, Kaminoans have given up on uh, getting Omega back. Maybe not, but we have to kind of figure that out as we go along. Um, I hope they do kind of wrap up that part of the story and figure out if the Caminos are going to keep going after Omega or not, and all of the stuff that they've already established. We do know that Crosshair the Marksman is coming after them at the very end of this episode, so that's already established with what's going on. So there we go. Um, was it a good episode? Sure, for being Bad Batch, it's not a bad episode. Uh, for you guys, it may be different, but go ahead and comment below what you thought of this episode. And uh, again, pretty good episode. But with that being said, guys, I am Mike with Mike W Productions. This is your Bad Batch review. Um, I will be doing the Bad Batch from till the end of the series. Up next, um, at some point I will be doing the Suicide Squad movie, and then hopefully I believe What If is the next 
show on the Marvel side of running. I'm not quite sure what they have on the Star Wars side and when it will come out. I believe it might be Obi-Wan, but I'm not sure. So, okay. With that being said, guys, thank you for tuning in. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. It helps the algorithm. If you want to watch anything else, there'll be a little pop-up here. And uh, hit the little subscribe button right here. I made it easy for you. So, thank you guys for coming in. Peace.